morning and welcome to the Monday Morning Marketing Podcast. I'm Esther. And I'm Melanie. And today we're talking about top tools we can't live without. What's your number one, Melanie? What tool can you not live without in your business? It's actually a relatively new tool to me um, because I didn't really need it, to be honest, up until about a year ago. (laughs) You didn't um, need it or you didn't think you needed it? Well, no, I didn't. I don't think I actually needed it. Um, but now it is Google Calendar. It is my walking brain. Yeah. Yeah, mine too. If it's not in the calendar, it doesn't happen. Pretty much. Yeah. It does not happen. And even though we're both iOS users, we're both iPhone users, it would still be Google Calendar rather than, you know, any of the other ones that I would have. And it. The notifications that arrive are brilliant. It's easier, isn't it? It is. I I can give access to my husband so he can see um, what's going on as well. Um, And you and I, we've got our um, calendars coordinated for this podcast attached to our um, business, you know, business um, profile as well. So we can see when things mix up between the Monday Morning Marketing podcast and our current businesses. Yeah. Yeah, so it keeps us it keeps us on track and it also for me it integrates with my online booking system so that people can slot into where I have spaces rather than going are you free at that time? No, I'm not. Are you free at this time? No, I'm not. So it just helps with the whole coordination of that. But that is a good part of Google Drive and the whole system of Google Drive is just necessary. Yeah. <laughs> we're not we're not being sponsored by the way by Google no. or any of the brands of, we're mentioning today. No, definitely not. But if they would like to reach out, you know, we we're all, always open to to talk to people. But yeah, Google Drive, you can fill in the information and then you don't even have to email it across to anybody. They automatically get the updates on it. They automatically, you know, if you have them added to to that for it, whether it's a doc, a spreadsheet, a PowerPoint, any of those It's just magic. Hmm. Now, you did actually make a point there of an appointment system. Would that be one of your um, absolute desired apps and tools? Oh, yes. I have it set up uh, with Calendar Hero. There are other ones out there like um, Calendly and... Acuity. Acuity. That's the other one that I keep forgetting. But yeah, um, we have it set up with Calendar Hero. And it's great. It just it becomes automated that they, you know, click a link, choose a time, you get notified, they get a reminder. It all flows. It's just a matter of getting it set up and then it's just automated. Yeah. So my match is is actually attached as well to Google Calendar. So as well as people's birthdays, um, you know, each other's uh, actual calendars as well for um, the, the Monday Morning Marketing Podcast. But the other one I could genuinely not live without, and I use it surprisingly often, is the Bitly link. Oh, really? Yeah, I use the Bitly link a lot. Okay, so what do you use it for? What's it good for? Well, I use it mostly um, for the Monday Morning Marketing Podcast because it's a ridiculously long URL on Anchor um, or Spotify. <laughs> it really um, is. <laughs> but I, I've, I've been using it for years um, for my blogs um, or any articles I've shared on Irish Tech News. And it's just a way of measuring, um, you know, who's opened it where and what countries and which platforms that they've actually discovered the URL that they've opened as well. Was it on Twitter? Was it on Facebook? Was it on Instagram? Um, and so it's, a, and especially just the free version, it's been massively useful, I've got to say. And do you find that even more useful than going into your Google Analytics and your Twitter Analytics and Facebook and all the other in- analytics? Well, it's just faster. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. But, you know, it's... I guess it's what I've got used to as well. There'll be other ones that people are absolutely, completely and totally used to as well, and it's no bother to them. So what would be your your next most popular um, app or tool? The one that I use daily, and I use it constantly because it's where um, we have our team, um, all the tasks that we have to do with you and I, with the Monday Morning Marketing Podcast, all the topics that we have coming up is Infinity. Yeah. So it's it's like Trello, Asana, those um, tools, monday.com. We should like use those. monday.com, shouldn't we? That would make more sense. <laughs> well, they should sponsor us. Yeah, that monday.com, sponsor us. <laughs> 
but it's um it's great you can have it in a kanban board you can have it in a good in a calendar format you can change all the different formats and you can have it all all your information in the one place you can put in your um links your images your videos everything in that one place and it's just brilliant and you can set up different boards so for different yeah. access so you've got a really large infinity board but i'm only on one part of it for because yeah it's only for the monday morning marketing um podcast but any projects that you run either in uh, northern ireland or overseas so you've got separate boards for those as well haven't you so it really is yeah. a whopping great big product yeah and we can add uh, other people to it so if we yeah. have a client that is want to go through you know what has to be done what is being done what has been reviewed and what is finished then they can be added to those boards as well and they can see how the progress is going through for say web design or you know anything that we're doing for them it's very similar to um what ellie do you remember we, we did that podcast with uh, ellie cloher a while back yeah. Um, the VA and she was telling us she used a similar platform um, for the same sort of thing for clients or for partners or that sort of yeah. stuff yeah I think that one's Trello that she's yeah. using so, so what else well same sort of thing I use Slack um, for my colleagues at Irish Tech News that that would be a, a team channel if you like um, but Missing Letter Missing oh, Letter yes. is an absolute gift um, thanks to Joanne Sweeney she mentioned it years ago um, in a podcast, believe it or not. And I thought, oh, sounds interesting. So <laughs> check out that capability. And within a couple of weeks, I was signed up. Um, it's an absolutely essential tool for anybody who blogs on a regular basis um, or wants to share content on a regular basis. It does it for you. It can schedule a month, six weeks, three months, or even up to a whole year. Um, you have to fill out the content if you're using something like a podcast. But if you've got blogging, it will take excerpts from your blog, any images that you're sharing as well, and we'll do it for you. You just have to go over it and make sure it's all making sense. Yeah. And you put us in into um, that as well. So it was because of you that we started using it. And now they have a curate section yes. as well that you can pull information over from other people and use that and share it out to your audience as well uh, just going back you mentioned slack there um for our team chats we would use lark and with lark never you heard also, of that. yeah it's it's great too it's um you can also have with lark you can have um video calls you can have a calendar inside lark you can attach your google calendar so how do you to, spell lark is that with the l-a-r-k with a uh, K. Okay. okay, cool. Yeah. So it's really good. And uh, again, you can have the different chats with different people. You can have a full group chat. Um, it's really, really good as well. And uh, well, that one's free. And I know Slack's free up to a certain point. To a certain point. Yeah. But, you know, it doesn't, we don't need massive chats. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, so my next favorite um, Apple tool would be Canva. Um, it's It's the cheapest and most productive way to make imagery um, using a template template based um, platform that's even free um, but I'll be honest with you the paid for is actually worth doing um, last checked it was around a, just over a hundred euro um, but obviously it'd be different versions different pricings overseas um, and honestly it's totally changed my productivity by using the, the pro version of Canva. Um, and I just like the fact that you can also share folders. You can open up other people's shared folders that you know have made public access. You can add teams, again, to the pro version. And these days, you can even schedule directly from Canva and present. You can present um, a full-blown you know, online presentation directly from Canva as well, which is a great add-on. Wow. Um Another thing, just as you mentioned Canva there, another platform that is you're able to share from Canva is with Agora Pulse. Yes, that's right. That's a recent. Well, it was a couple of months back now, but um, it's a relatively recent um, update. And uh, previously, you, you'd have to create your product to create your imagery, sorry, and then, you know, put it into your laptop or your phone and then share it from there. But now you can actually do it inside 
um, Agora Pulse as well, which is yet another tool that we use. But yes. we have to be honest here, we we would definitely be using it because we're both brand ambassadors. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but it is amazing. It we is. do recommend that you can use, if you can use that, you can use it. Um, nice. So we've used, we've talked about the fun stuff. We've talked about like fun software like um for communicating for designing and stuff what about the boring invoices and um yeah there's so many those, finance there? ones there really there's are so many and it really depends on on what your time and ability and connectivity because if you've got um an e-commerce website there are some that are better than others so that will help with stock taking and ordering and, and, and purchasing and that sort of stuff um, but I don't have that, so I don't have an e-commerce website um, to that that extent anyway. So I have Bullet HQ, which is um, available over here. Um, I think it's available pretty much globally, but it, you have to have a look at the pricing packages. It does cost. It's not free. Um, but I, I would consider myself numerically dyslexic. Um, so I need something that is kind of gentle and, you know, allows for stupid and, and guide you through, guide you through it. Totally. Bullet HQ and Bullet HQ Help. Um, again, we're not sponsored, but guys, Bullet HQ Help are really good. <laughs> um, so I've got to say, um, I would, I've been using them for years now. There have been others that have cropped up that people suggested, but I, I'm loath to kind of change now. Um, who do you use? Well, we used to use Wave, Wave apps. <laughs> Um, but they are focusing more um, on just North America, um, Canada and USA. So if you're in that vicinity, definitely check out Wave apps. Um, and we've had to move across to Descara. So um, because, well, with Wave apps, you used to be able to just put the invoice in, connect it up to your Stripe account and people could have paid you uh, directly by uh, your, their debit or credit card. Uh, without having any international bank transfers and things like that. But now they are focusing only on the North American um, industry. So for Europe, they have taken away that option of people paying by card. So Bummer. we've moved. Yeah, I know. It was really, and, and I loved it. It was really, really easy. And uh, I could have given access to my accountant and everything. It was super handy. But so we're in the process of changing over and it is it is one of those things that once you get the right software just stick with it <laughs> stick, stick with it until they change lot, the boundary lines anyway yeah but it's it's one of those things that if you're you know if you get onto a software early enough and you pay you know you're paying say the um the smallest amount or you're paying you know sort of they call it grandfathering where you are one of the founders of or the founding users of these um softwares then usually they never increase your price mm. or but not you still much get, anyway. or not much but you still get all the add-ons and all the additions and everything that they are you know working on in the background and you can help format those as well by saying oh we'd really like to see this in it and they'll take you into consideration whereas some of these bigger guys that have been around for years and years and years and have taken over the market they're not as open to suggestions as to what can be added to the app or the software. Mm. You just reminded me of something, actually. So I'm going to move away from the boring apps just briefly because it was one um, tool that you reminded me of because I got there right at very early on at the very beginning, um, or certainly within the first year or two, and that's Post Planner. Um, such a great tool. Um, the, I don't massively like change, I'll be honest with you, and the change that they made to the way it's displayed on your laptop is vast. Um, so it looks like there's loads of little footballs all over your screen now. Um, it's, it's taken some change, um, you know, from me to to learn to adapt to it. But it would still be my go-to tool for finding content that's relevant, that's current. It's kind of hip, really, you know, kind of hip content. Oh, my God. Mm. <laughs> and uh, But it is, again, a paid-for tool. Um but I wouldn't be without um, Post Planner. It's it would be something I always budget for every year. So exactly, if if it's a tool or a piece of software that will be useful for you to grow your business, it is yeah. worth every penny. Well, so, so if it can save you time, yes. Um, or if it can save you money, yes. Then, then it's worth doing. But I, I do appreciate that not everybody who's listening will have the budget for these at the moment, but. 
definitely look at the, the pricing structures now and it'll give you an idea of what you can afford maybe this time next year. Yeah, and definitely think of it more as an investment yes. rather than ex an expense because you don't want to have to be changing platforms and changing software every couple of years. It, no. it does get a bit messy. Just on a closing note then, Melanie, for long distance telephone calls, would you yes. use Zoom or would you use something else? Honestly, I'm so um, zoomed out. I I just couldn't fathom doing it. And, and this morning, actually, I was doing a Google Meet and it feels so foreign for me to do a Google Meet. Um, so I tend to use WhatsApp um, because that helps me with uh, international calls. Um, so over the last couple of weeks, I've spoken to Germany. I've spoken to um, the US a couple of times and the UK uh, quite a few times. And it's, it's just really, really handy. And you got the WhatsApp business. Um, so it, it still looks like an official channel of your brand um, and it saves you a bomb. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, um, well, where can we go from there? <laughs> well, I think we've done what we said we were trying to do is give people a few ideas. I mean, these are tools that we have picked up and used over the years. There's lots and lots of others and these are what suit us. So these yeah. may not necessarily suit you, um, but do give them a look and for some of them, myself and Esther do have affiliate links, so you're welcome to contact us and see what affiliate links we have available. Um, and we can arrange for demos and uh, instruction on several of them as well. So if you're finding yourself stuck on any of them, do let us know. But, yeah, we, we're just trying to be helpful. We're trying to give back because, you know, an awful lot of people have given their time over the years to help us set up our business. And that's all we want to do. We just want to help you guys. Exactly. Like Melanie says, if you do have any questions, do reach out to us. You can find us on all our social media platforms and on our website, themondaymorningmarketing.com. Have a good day, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.